What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we have a pretty good account for you guys to win on Android. So Zosh has been a long time player, but he's just moving on, going to better, greener pastures probably, uh, and we are going to be giving away this account. It is a VIP 7 Getting close to VIP 8. Uh, as always, though, I usually say don't spend on these accounts. You never know, somehow a co an account might be recovered or something like that. Just, just play it safe. Play these accounts as if they're free to play, but... They have a pretty healthy amount of heroes and a very healthy amount of transcendence power. So it looks like they only have what? It, three. Let me just. I'm going to click this because I've, I've missed them before. They have three transcendence heroes right now. The main one being Jara, of course, built for that power. Oh my goodness. Even almost has the full active ability uh, sublimed out, which is awesome. We have Shia, which looks like potentially one of the damage dealers on this account, uh, has her active sublimed out. And then we have Scarlet Queen Halora, no actives or anything like that. And of course, no X levels from the looks of it, which means campaign. Yeah, we're stuck a ways back now. This account can definitely, definitely, definitely make some progress. Like it really, really should be able to, um, Let's take a look. I, I want to just try a battle and see what we're stuck on right now to see exactly what's going on here. Uh, we do have some pretty... Oh, I got a lot of monsters. I'm hoping they're all maxed out. We'll have to see. Uh, and, of course, we don't have any cores just yet. Let me let me just jump into battle. I want to see what's going on with this account here. Uh, actually, putting Jar in the back row is probably a huge mistake. <laughs> My goodness, she just got shredded the pieces as I expected. So we've already gotten past this on our account. Um... Let's do like this, actually. Let's put all of those Nakia targets <laughs> in the back row. The queen, my goodness. Uh, getting an active off might be the better option here. Uh, sometimes, you know, an account like this just needs a little bit of tweaking. And even though you normally would use a Rui Scepter, I might want to use something like a Demon Bell. Uh, looks like we already have a Demon Bell in the bag as well. So maybe running something more along the lines of this might help us out and protect our team. Getting that active off before the enemy goes could potentially be good, but the fact that we're just destroying ourselves on the Cthugas too, yeah, you can see why having round one burst and not a sword flash is a more popular strategy most of the times, uh, but you do have a lot to work with here. You got very, very powerful heroes. Uh, both of them are, looks like Tree of Origin 4. They're both level 80, I would imagine. Yep, and then lastly, Queen is level 60. Uh, I'm guessing the houses aren't, Super high level on this type of account. We got about 30s on the Jara, 30s on the Sword Flash. Yeah, it's too much spread out. So there's definitely a lot you guys can do with this account to make some progress, which is good. You have the heroes ready. You even have quite a few of the artifacts ready to go. Uh, you're just needing to work on execution. Like, that's really what it comes down to. You got to kiss a ghost over here. Oh, wow, you got a splendid crown. We need to be using that thing. Another Ruiz. Oh, there's a ton of artifacts on this account as well. My goodness, this is actually really, really good. Let's go over and look at the resources bag because that's the spicy part. Almost ready for a fourth trans... <laughs> fourth transcendence hero. My goodness, I got joked up on that one. Um, Pretty good. You got a decent amount of Stellar Shards chilling in the bag as well. Uh, you got some Heroic Scrolls and Profit Orbs, not for a full event. Same with Wishing Coins. Uh, you do have a ton of Glory Coins, though, so that could be either Profit Orbs or those bad boys over there. Might as well open those guys up. Uh, okay, you got enough for an artifact. You get enough to build some heroes. You have a lot of things at your disposal that you can do good with. Oh, my goodness. You even have a ton of artifact fodder just sitting here. Just what happens when you're just doing, like, dailies constantly and... <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden you pop up and you're like oh man i actually uh i could go big on this account because it's just been idling you have every one of the regular star spawns and you have one of them nearing max level which is impressive uh a lot of these are probably just stuck yeah by the lower star spawn cores from the looks of it but you have every single one of them and a tree at 212 not too bad this is this is surprisingly a pretty solid account. You are into fire, so you'll definitely be able to make progress there. It'll be a fun account to progress and uh, get all that stuff done. We already took a look at this. This could definitely be more optimized. Like, 
There's no Viking skins, so maybe going for a Viking skin event eventually will be a good payoff. Uh, what else do we need to take a look at here? So we got some, you can see we've been doing our monthlies, it looks like, here and there, off and on. Uh, still got that one to finish out. I mean, it looks good. Like, overall, this is looking pretty good. You even have some contract starry gems, not a ton of them. Uh, where'd they go? There they are, the 430. Uh, you got plenty of master toolboxes. It's a pretty prime account here to just kind of start doing what you want to do. There's plenty of hero chests. There's no artifacts, anything like that. But wow, this is actually probably one of the best well-rounded accounts I think I've seen in quite a while. There's a couple things I don't like. Like, honestly, this upgraded Kiss of Ghosts feels a little useless. I would rather like split the kiss of ghosts onto two of these tenants here. The two of them get like the best stat boost possible. Oh, actually, I don't even care about that. I wanna really these houses are kind of annoying. <laughs> really, all the power I think should be on your jar here. You got a couple V1s on that's the other thing. Getting V4 on those tenants is gonna be really, really important here. You know, honestly, it sounds weird, but Crown Jar might actually be pretty solid here. And then building here more for the damage route as well. Going like this. I don't even know if that would help us out here. It might. Not getting an active in round one is going to feel really bad. But with a crown, that makes her extremely tanky in comparison. You can see the difference in health loss between her and Shia. <laughs> Oh, I mean, she hits hard, though. Maybe what we go for is try to live for, like, a round two active or something that just obliterates the enemy team. Ooh, so many hits. Okay, hold on. Let's try switching this up just a little bit here. Maybe we should put the sword flash in the back? I don't know. We are getting pings from this, though, from the Nakia, which is good. Uh, it's not quite enough. It's definitely not enough, but it does feel a little better. She does need it, it seems like. Oh, man, these Cthugas are such a pain. I mean, there's definitely room for progress, though. There most definitely is. You have all the core heroes you really want. The only thing we haven't really checked was uh, we are in Purgatory. That makes sense. And then Sea Lands. We have 20, 21, 22... Oh, you got to prioritize getting that light sea land done for maximum benefits in Gate of the Void. Looks like we're working on a Vulcan that might be the fourth Transcendence Hero as well. So yeah, if you guys want a chance to win this, the first thing you got to do, you got to hit this subscribe button. We are almost at 83,000 subscribers, literally just over 100 away. Hit that button right now. Chances are, actually, you know what? Let me go take a look. It's been a while since we've looked at this and said about it. 57% <laughs> of people watching are subscribed the other 42 43 percent you guys haven't hit that button well if you want a chance to win this one hit that button and you know what we're going to use vulcan as the keyword so put the name vulcan anywhere in a comment down below be subscribed because you have to be a subscriber in order to qualify to win and when we hit that subscriber goal which we should hit tomorrow we'll give this account away and let you guys have some fun with it again it is an android account not an ios account hopefully you guys enjoy some hopefully you guys have a good chance of winning i'll see you guys next time